Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Smart Switch app part 3 and in this part of tutorial we will be actually be building our smart switch app. So a smart switch app will actually be working as a smart switch. So in the last part of tutorial what we did is that we created a app, uh, we coded our app, we coded our hardware that is the Arduino and we were able to control our uh, device uh, we were able to lit the LED using uh, our, the app that we coded so that's what we did in the last part of tutorial and in this part of tutorial we will be doing something really awesome uh, that will be something uh, very different and uh, so uh, let's get started and uh, let's see uh, how we are doing how will we able to do that so the thing that we will be doing is that we will be resolving a day-to-day -day issue uh, that we have and uh, uh, suppose we uh, go to a room and we turn on the light and we forget to, to turn off that light so we later realize that oh uh, we just forgot and so the solution for uh, this what I thought that when we turn on the light we can just specify a time period for which the light should be turned on and after that time period it will automatically be turned off so that was the whole story behind uh, why I was building this react native smart switch app and uh, uh, it's almost uh, ready and it is working as per the requirement so uh, let's see how it is working so let's scan the code first so you can see that this code uh, this whole uh, theoretical part of this uh, video you can find uh, on my website that is nogroup.com so let's get to the code so this is the code for the Arduino that has already been uploaded so uh, first of all I would like to tell you that before you upload this code make sure you uh, disconnect these two cables the RX and TX cables because that is something we always forget and when we see the error then we remember that yes we uh, we have forgotten to disconnect it so after you upload the code then only uh, you connect that cable so that there is no error and uh, so let's see what's there in the code so in the code we have four variables and in the setup we are setting pin mode 13 uh, pin 13 as the output <coughs> and uh, the serial begin to start the uh, to tell the uh, Arduino that the speed at which we will be communicating the Bluetooth communication will be at 9600 bits per second and then again uh, we are checking uh, like a last previous uh, uh, code that uh, if the there is serial available that is some data is available then we are reading the data and this uh, in the previous uh, tutorial we were reading one single code but here we are reading multiple codes so ba basically there are six codes that we are reading a b c d e f these are the codes and accordingly we are performing the task so uh, if I say there are six virtual switches here so the first switch A uh, turns on the light for 5 seconds, B turns on lights for 10 seconds, C turns on lights for 15 seconds and so forth. So there are 6 virtual switches that we have created and we are checking that if there is some command then we are setting the flag to 1 by default the flag is set to 0 and when the flag is 1 that is there is a command to turn on the light then we are taking the time at which the light is turned on and we are comparing that light with the uh, uh, the current time uh, and we are adding the interval that is if the light is turned on for 5 seconds or 10 seconds or 15 seconds to the start time of the light and if the current time is greater than the start time plus interval then we are just turning off the LED 
so that's exactly what's happening in the code and we are we have also used a function in the function we are doing nothing just we are uh, turning on the led uh, when the signal is there and we are taking the uh, light start time we are setting the flag to one and we are uh, setting the interval that is provided by the uh, signal so that's all what we are doing in this Arduino code and let's uh, understand what we are doing in the react native part of code so in the react native part we are basically uh, the things start when user taps this button so when the user taps the, this button and gives the voice command then we are uh, scanning that voice command and we are deciphering it using the dialog flow api the google dialog flow api so you can use any other uh, voice uh, uh, the uh, the tool that that is used to decipher voice that is voice to text I'm just using uh, Dialogflow because uh, I've used it uh, before and it was easy for me to use. Uh, so you can use any other tool as well for uh, taking voice commands. So here yeah, what's happening that uh, using the Dialogflow API the voice is converted to text and once the voice is converted to text then we are uh checking for the keywords let me see where yes here we are checking for the keywords that if the the required keywords are there or not say it's uh, there is switch and on keywords we are looking for because if there is some other command then we are not executing it so only when there is switch on command then we are uh switching on the light and when there is proper command then we are just uh, taking the command and we are sending the signal to our device using the bluetooth so that's all we are doing here in our app code and that is not at all tough but it, it is resolving a great issue so uh, it's now time for us to see the work that we have done in action so i will go ahead and i will connect the Arduino board to okay so the Arduino is turned on and let's use our app to control it okay so this is our app so first we will turn on Bluetooth okay so our device is detected and now we will connect to the device okay so we are connected to the device and now we can go ahead and give some commands so when you will have the first glance of this uh, app then you will see there are no virtual switches but we will build, uh, no switches but we will building app for uh, that will allow us to turn on switches, turn off switches. So basically the virtual switches is there and the main switch is only the physical switch is only one okay and this is allowing us to perform multiple tasks. So let's give the command and see how it works. Switch on light for 5 seconds. Okay, so you can see the light turned on for 5 seconds and then it got automatically turned off. So the same uh, thing that uh, we are using here, we can use with a real time light, real light and we can use the uh, time period as minutes or whatever we want. For uh, just for the demonstration, I am using seconds, 
and also I'm using LED but this can be done in the uh, something real to resolve the issue okay let's try something else switch on light for 10 seconds so light turned on and just check your clock uh, or check your watch it turned off turned off immediately after 10 seconds so it worked yes it worked let's try once again switch on light for 15 seconds So everything is working uh, by the Bluetooth module, there is no physical connection. So you saw the light turned on and off, turned off automatically after 15 seconds. Okay, uh, let's try some something that doesn't involve switching on light. Switch off light for 5 seconds. So you see that switch off light for 5 seconds is what we uh, said and our virtual switch did understand but it did didn't turn on the LED so our app is working very much as we wanted and I hope you guys have found this tutorial uh, good and if you do then please do subscribe to the channel uh, please subs go to uh, uh, go to the website and subscribe to our newsletter and uh, I will keep bringing such uh, useful tutorials of home, home automation and react native uh, to you and thank you guys so much if you have any uh, questions or any doubts you can just uh, ask them in the comments and thank you for watching have a nice day ahead